What's up, Battlefielders? My name is Major Skills, and today is Saturday. Every single Saturday on my channel, I bring you guys the Naked Gun series. And last week, I brought you guys the SG-55-3 Engineer class gameplay. I'll have a link down in the description below to that video. If you guys are curious of what other guns I have done so far, I've done quite a few of them. Uh, you actually have to go check out my channel and my playlist, and you'll see it titled BF-3 Naked Gun series. So where all my naked guns are. But anyways, I'm actually playing, get, actually giving you guys the uh, M27 IAR gameplay this week, support role. Uh, it's been a little while since I give you guys support, gameplay overall, just normal gameplay and all that. So I thought I'd give you guys this today. And if you guys actually notice, this is one of the new maps actually that Endgame came out like two and a half weeks ago. This is one of the four maps. It's actually called Nevadon Flats. I believe that is how you pronounce it. Some of the maps are kind of weirdly pronounced, and some of them are fairly easy to get, like Operation Riverside, I think it's called. One of the new maps, I'm almost positive. I'm getting there to the names and all that stuff, like where I, I'm almost memorizing them. And uh, I've actually played some a lot of TDM on the new maps. And they're basically the same thing, like like the map layout and all that stuff. You basically have one huge building in the middle of the map, and you have outskirts and all that stuff, and then everybody usually goes in the middle of the map and into the building and all that stuff, which isn't bad because it's only TDM, but I do have quite a few more gameplays of Capture the Flag and Rush, and I actually have some gameplay of Air Superiority for you guys. I'll bring you guys that in the next few weeks. I'll bring you guys that. But anyways, I'm going to talk about the M27 IR throughout this whole entire commentary from here on out. Anyways, the M27 is fairly, I love the gun. You get it at the very start of the, uh, whenever you get the support role, you, you, this is the first gun you unlock for the Americans, of course. And it's a very good gun, especially with your attachments that you prefer. I prefer the foregrip extended mags and either the holographic red dot or cobra sights. It's usually the holographic sight. But if you take all that out, it has some major recoil. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. You guys can tell in this video that it has a lot of recoil. It basically goes up a lot and to the right. And I don't know if you guys noticed this or not. I'm sure you have, especially if you played a lot of Battlefield. But the, I compare, me personally, the M416 and this M27 IAR. I compare them because they're basically exactly the, alike. The M416 and the M27 IAR have the exact same iron sights. The only difference really is the M416 has slightly less recoil. And the M27 has more, just a little bit more. And the uh, also the M416 has way less ammo. And it only has 31 bullets and the M27 has 46. So that's not that much of a difference. They're basically both assault rifles in my opinion. I play I play with the M27 IAR like, uh, like I would an assault rifle. Uh, overall, I do like the iron sights. It's very good, very easy to handle. Uh, I usually do use the iron sights every now and again just to see like how they are. I forget every now and then. They're very easy to maintain the recoil once you get used to it, though. You have to get used to it. This is my first gameplay, though. Like I got used to the recoil like I, at the very beginning of the game. That's I did not do so good at the beginning of the game because I was trying to get used to it and all that stuff. But uh, I do encourage you guys to at least try out your favorite weapon, whether it be like in the assault category, engineer, or whatever. Just try out your favorite weapon and let me know how you do and all that stuff. Like, it's just very fun, especially for me. I'm enjoying this series. I really am. But, but anyways, overall, this gun, gun was very easy to the maintain and all that stuff and if you guys don't mind stay tuned to my channel I do do this naked gun series every single Saturday on my channel and if you guys don't mind please like and favorite this video and I'll be uploading a lot more in game content probably the next few weeks I hope you guys enjoyed it and peace